here. He abducted us and he's going to kill me. We're meant for something. Something horrible. The world will understand now. The beast is real. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Real Time for the Real Everyday Movie Fan. I'm Josh Williams. And I'm Ryan Murphy. And today we're giving you a real-time review of Split. Split, yes. Split is uh, directed by James McAvoy. Oh, no, it's directed <laughs> by... <laughs> it's morning. It's, it's morning. Dr- we're, we're trying our <laughs> hardest, we promise. Split is directed by M. Night Shyamalan. Written and directed by M. Night Shyamalan and stars James McAvoy... Um, and uh, Anya Taylor Joy, and who are some of the other young ladies? Uh, Haley Lou Richardson. Betty Buckley was in it, and uh, Haley Lou Richardson, and, and those the are the biggest Jessica ones. Jessica Sula was the I think it's, yeah. other uh, young lady. Uh, but those are the biggest characters. Yeah, and so. um, we'll let's jump right off into it. We both saw it. Give us your score, and let's jump right into either some positive negatives, and we'll go from there. Uh, my score would probably be about, be about 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Uh, All right. Yeah. Um, so I think this was just a really solid movie. I mean, it was just yeah. like – and it's refreshing. It's refreshing because we see a lot of crap. Mm-hmm. You know, we yeah. see a lot of just like when it comes to like – Underworld uh, Day, ladies and gentlemen. Summer movies. I mean, this is not summer, obviously, but, you know – Resident um, Evil, anyone? Uh, the uh, – not critically acclaimed movies, the uh, yeah, the blockbuster movies. There, a lot of them tend to be crap, and it's just kind of refreshing to go see something, especially with the words M Night Shyamalan attached to it. Yeah, that um, is really refreshingly just good and well written mm-hmm. and well done. Uh, it's just it's and I you know I was I'm having a hard time thinking of another word other than solid. Like it's because it's just it's it has that. Well, you kind of had that same feeling when you watched uh, Ten Cloverfield Lane. Ten Cloverfield Lane. Lane, which was the first review I did here. Yeah. Which was it was also early in the year, and it was just like it was a thriller film that just was it, extremely solid thriller. Like it knew what it was doing. It had it was well paced. It had good characters. It had uh, and it had some poignancy to it too. It had themes, it had thematic uh, material throughout. It wasn't just. Okay, ah, monster come out, and yeah. then everyone dies in the end. It's, you know, it's like <laughs> it's 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 got a real like story arc to it, and um, was and it just left me feeling very satisfied. Like, good, wait, way to go. Mr. It had Shemmel. great build up to suspense to it. I personally love this movie as well. I'm gonna give it at eight point nine. I'm a little bit higher than you. Um, when I first saw this film, we kind of go back and forth on why I, this became higher for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, the very ending, after it like it cuts and it says split, there's a scene at the end. For me, that enhanced the experience of the movie and actually enhanced everything that went on pr- uh, in the movie prior to that scene. And it made it even more awesome for me. I can't tell you what it is that made it great, but it has a certain connection to something <laughs> that really I personally loved it. Um, one of the biggest I, I things. I did not care for that. I thought that you cheapened thought the whole movie. I thought, well, you had a really good thing going, and then you just threw that in there. And- Let's bring up the biggest thing of the movie, though. James McAvoy. You, yeah, you're really James, about James McAvoy. He was film. he was phenomenal. I was like, he if, was you, so if, magnetic if you saw him perform each of these roles that he does individually, you wouldn't be so on about it. But because he happens to do them all while apparently being the same person, that yeah. really elevates I mean, him. And, I mean, like, I could even think if he played even one of those characters throughout the entire film, it would still be a great performance. Mm-hmm. But it's the fact that he can change from character to character in front of your eyes, and you can instantly tell the difference with his facial afflictions, his body posture, you could just tell the difference between the characters. And for an actor to be able to do that on screen in front of your eyes is impressive. Mm. I mean, I couldn't get over how this was basically hit the film, this performance of his career. But that doesn't take away from the fact that Ian Taylor Joy was was great as well. Ian Taylor Joy was she good had great film. emotion she's, behind her character. She's an up and coming star. She's oh, been yeah. in a couple. Uh, last year was in a couple of. Uh, Thrillers, a couple of horror films. Uh, Morgan and Morgan. the Witch. <laughs> Morgan and the Witch, inside joke. A little inside joke. Uh, uh, but let's bring up, uh, but, do you have anything else you really Well, like? I mean, just I, I do want to point out that, ironically, the next thing that she and James McAvoy will star in will be the the New Mutants together. Yeah. Where he's Professor X and she's uh, magic. So it's like, oh, yes, good, my young <laughs> student. I'm sorry for kidnapping you that one time. But, you know. Let's bring up another big positive, too, though is M. Night Shyamalan kind of getting back in his element. Wow. Before this and The Visit and after Signs, right. the name M. Night Shyamalan became <laughs> a, like, synonymous with like, making fun Just of the garbage name. garbage films. Yeah. Like, it, I mean, it, it was like when he made The Happening, everyone was like, this is one of the worst films ever. Mm-hmm. He should probably retire. 
and then he made the last oh, Airbender. Oh God! And then everyone was like, "Oh my gosh, no, seriously!" And then stop he making After films. Earth, and, and you're then he like, made After Earth, and just, you're just kind of like, "Oh, God. why do they keep giving Please him stop. money? Why do yep. they keep? Why does he? Why is he able to make movies?" Well, I'm glad he was able to make this movie. Yep. Because you might start. This might be the beginning of a comeback. I think, and him. I think there's even beginning to come back with the visit because he took the money he got from After Earth and put it into the visit, mm-hmm. and then that got some good recognition. And now some like maybe he's getting a comeback, and now this even kind of cements that he's actually having a comeback mm-hmm. of some sorts. And let's just give that fact that since he wrote and directed, it is very impressive. Yes. But let's go on to. And you have anything negative you have to say about the film itself? Um, you know, there's really not a whole lot of negatives. Yeah, say what? There's nothing. Go ahead. Uh, there really not a whole lot of negatives. It was pretty well done. You know. Maybe a small thing here or there, but ultimately, uh, I just thought the film was very impressively done, very uh, uh, well written, well rounded uh, piece of work with that you know thrilled you. It wasn't too, it wasn't too dark. I mean, it, it gets pretty dark, but it's kind of PG thirteen dark. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just so, sort of like I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some don't don't go in here thinking like nothing really shocking is going to happen um but uh but the, it's actually like they cut away from a lot of the violence that happens because i think it's pg-13 yeah like it really should be r it feels like a film that should be r but they're kind of it's it feels like a film that was r but they cut it for television i think like, they were afraid to actually go that extra mile uh, to make it a rated r yeah but uh, uh yeah so i mean overall though i i really enjoyed the film and it was yeah uh, my other, my only really small negative was uh, Haley Lou Richards and. Oh yeah, you yeah you were thinking like she. I, I just I didn't totally like, disagree with you on this. I, I thought that her character. I was feel totally... like some of the character decisions she made were the kind of the cliche, horror suspense decisions. You're just like, oh, you're gonna do this. You're gonna. It's, this is gonna happen. I feel like that's I okay. Maybe I'm not as well versed in horror films, but you. I saw I saw three individual young ladies who were making different decisions, and Anya Taylor Joy's character is supposed to be the smartest of the group and the one who really is going to get you know the hero who knows how to do everything but it's like that doesn't make the other one an idiot because she was doing things that you know i would have done you know i mean i don't know for me i just and plus her just her character in general was i don't know it didn't mesh well with me i can't explain why or whatnot just didn't mesh well with me um other than that i mean what i liked about i the joyous character you brought up was like as the movie plays out you figure out why she is the way she is why Mm -hmm. she's always so calm in this situation or, or whatnot. Mm-hmm. I, I loved that aspect. Um, overall, I recommend the film. I'll let you go next if you recommend it or not. This movie has great character development. M. S. Shyamalan, I think, is back in his element. He is back. Hopefully going to make something. You know, the next movie he makes will be great as well. And I cannot rec- I guess I can't recommend any more. James McAvoy, wow. Yeah. How about you? You recommend the film. Recommend the film, obviously. Uh, 8 out of 10. Uh, so, yeah, go see it. Uh, it's a good movie. It is. <laughs> Very great movie. It's surprisingly enough for something that's may come out and actually wide release in, in January, January. It's actually one of those hidden gems within January with all with amongst the mass of shit. We put it in January because <laughs> it was Shyamalan. You know. <laughs> they were afraid. Like, all oh, right. Just in case it might fail, we'll put come it in. Come on, here. Mr. Shyamalan, we'll give you a movie, but it's going in January. <laughs> So. All right, folks, that'll do this for today. Thank you very much for watching. What did you think of Split? Leave your comments in the section below and tell us what you thought about that last ending, that last <laughs> ending scene. Don't spoil it for anybody else who has not no seen it, what but what about. do you think about it moving forward within uh, N. Matt Shyamalan's movies as well as what did you think of this movie all, all together with your score out of 10? And if you've not seen it, what, uh, what are you looking forward to to go see it? Also, if you like what you're watching, please click like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see more of our various content in the future. I'm Josh Williams. And I'm Ryan Murphy. And thank you for keeping it real. With real time.